All right, we're working on a Chevy Tahoe today, and we're going to be diagnosing. Uh, looks like we got P0442 for uh, EVAP leak. So we're going to be smoking the ZVAP system and going through all the tests we need to do to figure out what's wrong. All right, so we know we got a P0442, which is a small EVAP leak. So basically what we're going to have to do is find out where this system's leaking. And there's uh, multiple components. We have purge valves vent valves charcoal canisters um you know your fuel tank system these all work together to recirculate recirculate the gas vapors into the motor basically uh for emissions so we're going to go ahead and uh, go through these components hook the smoke machine up and uh, figure out what's going on here these codes are also going to result in a check engine light and if your state requires a smog test it's going to fail the smog so the first component and the easiest one to get to is going to be your purge valve um, no matter what vehicle, this is going to be located up on top of the engine. And this service port right next to, located right next to the purge valve, this is actually where we would hook the smoke machine to. Let's uh, go underneath the vehicle and uh, show the rest of the components. All right, so that vapor line basically comes down from the purge valve, follows down through here, and essentially up to the gas tank here. And as we move further back down the vehicle, Behind the gas tank. So that's going to be our canister, our char EVAP charcoal canister. And off of that, we're going to have a vent valve. Let me show you where that's located. All right, so we're going to go ahead and follow this line from the canister that goes back by the spare tire. And that guy right there is going to be our vent valve. So basically what the vent valve does is uh, closes the EVAP system so it can test for leaks. So when we smoke this, um, that vent valve is typically always held open. So when we smoke this, we're going to have to uh, either close that vent valve with a scan tool or cap it with a service cap. You can do it either way. All right, so in this case, I'm just going to use a scan tool to close off that vent valve because uh, by doing that, I can actually test the vent valve at the same time. If you want to test these components individually, I'll leave a link to that. Uh -huh. All right, we got a scanner hooked up. We're just going to go into the engine control module. Then we're going to go into special functions. Actually, on this one, it's going to be activation test. So we can activate our purge valve here, which is the one located by the motor, and the vent valve here, which is the one we want to close. The purge valve is in normal state is closed. The vent valve in normal state is open. So in order for us to seal the system to smoke it we got to close this vent valve or for the DIYers at home um, just cap it off all right so here it says venting if we turn it on it's going to say not venting so right now our valve is closed let's get our smoke machine hooked up all right so we got our little cheap smoke machine we got up amazon here i'm going to turn it on i always want to make sure uh you're actually getting smoke out first on this one i just i actually just disconnected this if you don't have the service port then you can just uh, put your smoke machine right in there. It usually seals off. But I'll leave a link where you can get this uh, smoke detector on Amazon. And th first thing I like to do is just come back to the gas cap to see if uh, the system's actually filling up with smoke. And as you can see, it definitely is. We're going to cap this off. I don't see any smoke coming out of the smoke, out of the cap. So I would say that's good. Let's go underneath. All right, so we got the system filled with smoke. Now we're just gonna wanna check all around our gas tank, um, our vent valve, and our canister. All right, so I have this vent valve closed with a scan tool, and this plastic line actually runs over to where the gas filler neck is. So in order to see if that's leaking, we gotta come up in through here. Which is right above there. So that is actually checking good. Now, if you're uh, capping that vent valve off, you're gonna have to manually take it out and check it yourself. But I'll leave a video uh, link in the top there where you can uh, learn how to test those. All right, so we're not really finding any leaks on this Tahoe, externally at least. So um, we ruled out the vent valve. Um, we ruled out the gas tank, all the lines. So really the only thing left is gonna be our purge valve. So let's go take a look. 
But on these Tahoes, that vent valve usually is the most uh, common place to leak, only because it's located under the vehicle and it collects a lot of dirt, debris, it can clog the filter, clog the valve. So usually the first place you want to look. All right, so we did determine the purge valve was bad in this engine or for this EVAP system. So uh, I'm going to leave a link to another video uh, where you can go find out how to test all these things. Um, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. If it was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe.